The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do the people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. When a man and a woman are married, everything that belongs to the husband belongs also to the wife, and vice versa. If the husband has a house, it's the wife's house, too. If the wife prepares a meal, the husband shares in it. So, too, do Christ and his bride, the church, partake of one another's goods, as Jesus indicated to Peter in today's Gospel reading. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Christ's great love for the world and for his bride permits the Church to bind she can determine how we are to keep the Lord's Day holy, set the penances we are obligated to do, and even penalize Catholics who obstinately reject her teachings. And Jesus also allows the Church to loose through the myriad means of dispensing God's mercy and grace, especially through the Sacrament of Reconciliation. We, as children of Christ and his church, share abundantly in these goods, just as the children of a married couple enjoy their parents' blessings. By obeying not only divine law, but also the precepts of the church, we please God and draw closer to him. And by taking advantage of the Church's many opportunities for grace, we receive all the assistance we need. Of course, the most powerful of these channels of grace are the seven sacraments, especially the Eucharist, in which our Heavenly Father and Holy Mother Church feed and strengthen us. Even in the earliest days of the Church, the abundance of this grace was enough to make Paul exclaim, Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! May we, living as faithful sons and daughters of the Church, come to know just how right he is. <laughs> 